What's up Airsoft fans, Combat Wombat 49 here, bringing you a firing review of my Blazing Hog. A couple things I want to address real quick. This does go all the way in, I do have a battery in there, so don't listen to those people. Uh, secondly, um, this tape is nothing about the gun, the gun still is perfectly functional. Um, this is actually for a camera mount, which I'm going to use in this video later on, I'm going to do some more rounds. Um, this is also, I'm going to be reviewing this for a little bit. This is my Umerix Combat Zone Enforcer. All plastic gun, about $30. I'm a penny pincher, what can I say? All right, here we go. Um, camera lady, scoot up a little bit. We're gonna be shooting down the, down the range there at a good old Slim Shady. And, hold on, I'm just gonna get my dog. She's kind of annoying. Come here, Roxy. Come she here, don't like Roxy. Slim Shady. Come here. Come here, get back there, what are you doing? All right, we're gonna begin firing some rounds now. This is there's very no wind day, so it's gonna be a real fair accuracy test. I do rep. This is why I do not like mid caps because of the constant winding. All right, let's go ahead and go down range and check out the spread on the blazing hog. That was aiming for nothing but the head there. Come on camera woman, let's go. Go ahead and bring the camera up all the way to its face. All right, as you can see, we do have a very sort of concentrated spread. Um, not as close as most people would like. I mean, as you can see, some of them kind of do trail off down here a little bit. Um, that's mostly because I don't really have my hop up adjusted that well. Um, could be adjusted a lot better. Um, also, but as you can see, it's a fairly accurate gun out at, um, I'd say it's probably about a hundred or so foot away. I would guess maybe a little bit less than that, maybe like 75 to 100. Um, it's a, it's a CQB gun, it's not meant for the field, but, um, it does perform well in the field I found. I've used it a couple times. Uh, now we're going to go, go ahead and go back and, uh, combat zone enforcer. Um, with that video, I'm going to be aiming at the, uh, cross right there in his midpoint. If you can see that on video, it's a cross right there. That's going to be what I'm aiming for. Um, that gun is a lot more accurate, so likely there will be a lot less spread on that. All right. All right, we're good. Um, we're recording. All right. Um, this is my combat zone uh, Umerix Enforcer. Thirty dollars. No, sorry, it was like thirty-five. I got it at a VIP Airsoft. Um, all plastic, CO2, non-blowback. Um, basically, lower end of guns you can buy. Um, I mostly rely on that. This is I literally just use this as a sidearm in case my main gun goes down. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review test on this. Brand new tech of CO2 in there. Um, like I said in my last video, I'm going to be aiming dead center at that cross, which if you um, are not looking is right above the T. And so we're going to do an accuracy test from this far away. Hold on, bit of a misfeed. Yeah, it's not gonna feed anymore. But you know what, that's fine. It is a cheap gun, like I said, use it as a sidearm. Um, very accurate, very hard hitting. Um, this mag is a little bit old. I probably need to get a new mag. It's just the spring, as you can see, does not really have a great deal of tension in it. Um, it's just simply not feeding, it's not feeding the BBs up into the round. Not much, not much to do with the gun, more so the mag. Um, six millimeter mags, easy to get, pick them up at Walmart, like three in a little box for like five bucks, ten bucks, I don't remember. Um, we're going to go down range now, take a look at that, and uh, hold on, let me just close this down, alright. All 
right, so um, as you can see, we did get some rounds very close. I believe we fired about seven rounds. My count, um, we have a couple right there. We have one right there. We have one right there on the cross, which is kind of hard to see. Um, we got a couple up here. So for a pistol, out at that range, like, like I said, a $30 CO2 pistol. Uh, fairly decent accuracy. I'm rather pleased with it, actually. Um, I used to come out here shoot Coke cans with it. Um, it's a very good gun, especially for the price. Um, I would dec definitely recommend pick picking one up. Um, they have them on Airsoft GI for about $20, $22. Very good gun, uh, for a sidearm at least, if you don't have one. Um, next video I'm going to be coming out with is going to be a uh, review of the um, blazing hog firing again but from the guns point of, point of view um, I do have a little bit of a gun mount on there so that will be nice and interesting for you guys um, hopefully all three of these will go up today uh, Combat Wombat all right, what's off. up Airsoft fans Combat Wombat 49 here and as you can tell by the camera placement um, this is just going to be a little bit of a test for my uh, new camera rig I sort of rigged up um, as you can see I'm not going to very much be able to uh, zoom in or out of my um, it, it, aiming down the sights so iron sights going to be next to useless here um, this is just going to be kind of like a spread test sort of a deal uh, alright and I'm going to give it a go I'm going to do semi first so I can kind of get my bearings as the way I'm shooting and I'm going to continue on full Okay, I'm on target, switching to full auto. Um, let me know how you guys like this new camera system. Might use it again. Uh, I don't know. Might use it to get some game footage. I'm not sure. Have some rounds ricocheting back towards us. That's fine. As you can see by the uh, camera shake, the recoil on this gun is a little bit hefty. Uh, and the camera is not completely lined up, but you can sort of see what I'm shooting at, which is kind of what I was going for. I also have another alternative camera position, which I'll show you guys now. Um, I played around with this one a little bit. Um, it is slightly confusing though. All right, so this is camera position two. Um, I do not have a mount on this, so I'm just holding it on. But uh, I did play around with this position. This is on the side of the crane stock. Um, it is a little bit confusing. I myself found it a bit confusing um, to watch. So uh, go ahead and drop in the comment section which ones you guys want to see um, when I go to games or whatever. Uh, it's Combat Wombat 49 signing off.